Alright, it finished installing. Let's go up. Let's my type in my password. And I am in. Look at this. We're all good. Let's see if we're on version 14.3. Uh, 14, 14915, yes we are. We are at version 14195. Let's do uh, settings. I said settings. Okay, so we're going to do system about and then we are at version 14195.1000. That's great. Thing that's new here is uh, if you go to update, Windows update, and if we do advanced options here, one of the options is um, let's say choose how updates are delivered. And here it says updates from more than one place. Now, this is part of Windows 10 November update and Windows 10 anniversary update. This option has is there, but what, what has apparently changed here is that this actually works now. So in the past or in the current version and and when in the November version of Windows 10, uh, you do have this option. So you could turn on the ability to get updates from your local network and from PCs in the internet. So basically, this first option here is allows you to if you have like five PCs in your home, if one of the PCs downloads the update, the rest of the five can use that PCs update to update themselves. So it doesn't have to download the same update five times so this saves on the internet bandwidth and it's much faster and this this worked in the current version of Windows this works in the current version of Windows and the November update but this is what's new here but this option still there on the existing version of Windows 10 but apparently according to Microsoft this actually didn't do anything so now it actually will do it it works like how t torrents work so you're up here uh, it'll Keep the updates on your phone or on your, on your computer and it's going to send seed it out to other users all over the internet who are close to you That way saving server load and saving uh, bandwidth So uh, this and it's gonna be hopefully faster It's gonna break down the app and website updates uh, app and OS updates into pieces and it's going to send every other every a lot of users over the internet your the update you have on your computer to the other users of the internet and this and conversely if you're trying to update the OS rather than having to get all the updates from Microsoft server you can get it from your peers which you make could make it for faster updating uh, especially because the updates are delivering chunks and it's going to get the chunks from the closest or the fastest route possible this is just like how torrenting works but this is built in it's also integrated with the Windows security system so that you get uh, you don't get modified or you know uh, touched uh, uh, modified updates or you don't get uh, hacked updates you get the authentic one it's going to check for them verify the uh, uh, integrity of the updates also uh, there's also uh, Windows is aware of the about the num uh, the drive space you have so it's now I'm just store updates if it's determines that you are running out of disk space also it's aware of metered connection and also other stuff such as bandwidth uses so there we go. So that's what's new. This option was this option was there, but apparently it didn't work until now. So, oh, would you look at that? There's Donald Trump on the headlines. I'm at changewindows.org, which talks about the latest changes in the Windows um, Insider previews. So one of the changes that's uh, we already talked about delivery optimization uh, on the new Windows 10 Insider preview. Now this is my laptop. This does have internet access. This is still running the anniversary update. I'm not planning to update this to Redstone 2 yet. It's this going to most likely, inshallah, it's going to be updated when Redstone 2 comes out. Uh, out of beta. So, but this website does a great job at t talking about what's new. So, here's one thing. User interface. The clickable area of the device in the connect, f c connect flyout is now as wide as the flyout area. All right, guys. So this is my laptop. It's running the anniversary update, so it's not running the Redstone 2 build. But I'm gonna show you uh, the next feature talks about the connect thing. So there's my connect option. I'm gonna show you what it's like before the anniversary update. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Unfortunately, this computer is not detecting my television. So there's that. And I just noticed there's a search button now. But yeah, so if there was, the perfect thing would be 
making sure your make sure your device is turned on it's discoverable so basically if there was a device it said that um, the clickable area of the name of the device would not just be the name of the device but also it would, it would be the width of the entire flyout so you could just if the name of the device was up say for this this small for example the search is this small you'd be able to click the right here and still click click then click search if search was a device it wouldn't be limited to this small so let's see what this panel looks like on the surface which is on redstone 2 all right we're on surface on the redstone 2 and it yes we're still suffering from this wi-fi issue but i'm going to click here and we're going to click connect expand and we're going to click connect which is right here and as you can see the flyout looks exactly like that of the i or my laptop also it can't find it even if it would if it even if it would have been able to detect the television it's not going to work because i'm not connected to the internet your pc or mobile device doesn't support meerkat so it can't project wirelessly so but yeah the search is not affected but if again if the name of the device was here i would be able to click even by if my mouse was over here so there you go so let's talk about some of the issues that have been fixed so we're, uh, we're going back to the website fixes an issue where using the power button on the start menu would crash start so on the previous bill clicking we talked about that clicking on the power button would cause it to start for the entire start menu to crash and you'd go to the desktop and now you can see the fly out here fixes an issue that you uh, that caused cortana's text-to-speech capabilities to not work so you, Cortana basically wouldn't be able to talk to you so if you ask it to tell a joke it would only show the text wouldn't be able to talk to you fix an issue where settings would crash on certain some editions of Windows 10 I noticed it I clicked I believe uh, the developer I clicked one of the developer settings and it crashed the settings app fixes an issue where your ring settings wouldn't work I personally didn't try changing the lint rings on the previous build and uh, so that wasn't um, so so uh, I wasn't able to test that myself. <clears throat> Fix is a compatibility issue co that caused some apps like Yahoo Mail, Trivia Crack, and uh, Trivia Crack, and others to crash. Did not experience those because I didn't use those apps during that time. Fix is an issue that would delay the mail notification appearing. Did not notice this issue because I usually use the mail app on my phone. Fix is an issue where the open with dialog box uh, box dialogs look for other apps on this PC link were broken even if if used after run dialog to open a file so did not experience this issue myself fixes an issue where the chinese input method editor might result in a device not not going into or going into or waking up from connected standby do not use china input method so wasn't a thing i experienced fixed an issue where using control a in edge to copy text and paste it into note paste it into notepad wouldn't paste anything did not experience this did not think about doing it, at least not on the surface. I did do it on my laptop, which isn't running the build. Uh, fixes an issue where, Im where importing favorites from Internet Explorer and into Edge would fail if the favorites redirect to another folder. I had already previously imported all my favorites a long time ago, so it wasn't an issue for me. These are the known issues for this build, so these are the things you should wear, you should be aware, aware about if you want to install it. Inclu uh, one of the things is the Wi-Fi problem, so we definitely should add that to the list. Adobe Acrobat Reader may crash when you launch it. Uh, after signing out and switching users, you might see a black screen and will be unable to log into that account. Bash may not work after updating to this build. That's huge. Uh, I heard that you might need to actually reinstall Bash, or you might need to re-enable Bash from the turn Windows feature on and off. I think that's what, what was mentioned in the Windows 10 blog. Um, the settings app may crash after going to personalization. Oh, let's find out. Let's go to personalization. No, let's go to there. Let's go to personalization. No, it doesn't crash here. So I think it's we're good. This PC is not experiencing this problem. It's experiencing something much bigger, and that's going for the internet. Uh, that's probably a huge thing. So we're going to need to uninstall this build immediately so let's click personalize from here the settings app is fine let's see if the control panel crashes or not oh I think it's not working now so no it's working so if we go to themes theme settings let's see if the control panels personalization works yep the control panel works too so no crashes in this thing but again we should add to the list 
Wi-Fi problem on the Surface Pro, first gen.